what's happening guys so it's uh tuesday afternoon here got new shafts in so i gotta get these guys cut down get them all set up for turkey season coming up i'm gonna be running uh i think i'm gonna run three fletch instead of four fletch so uh, two black and one uh gold uh, running the two inch bat wings but i'm gonna try them out here these are uh 500 spine black eagle x impacts uh, and then we're setting them up with the valkyrie system so got all my components everything ready to go so i'm just going to get these guys cut down and go from there i only have two arrows left from last year i have been uh shooting in my basement which i've shown you guys this before but that is where I've been shooting, and I've been using Lisa's bow, which is 30 pounds at 28 inches, and just working on form, literally from right here. Um, so I've just been shooting. I haven't shot beyond 10 yards probably for two weeks. I've um, just been focused on dialing in my form and, and practicing that way. And um, I haven't, r like, Robin Hooded an arrow because... I'm not very accurate, but I have uh, I have broken a couple arrows from slapping the sides of them. So I actually have been shooting my old <laughs> these old shafts that are uh, Black Eagle Instincts. They're just stock uh, fletching cut down. So that's what I've been practicing with ever since I I broke two of my um, two of my arrows that I used last year. So I'm gonna step away from the silliness and try to make an arrow that looks cool this year, I guess. First thing I gotta do is drop uh, the outsert. I'm gonna go ahead and glue up these outserts on here. Um, and then cut the shafts down. Alright, well I got these guys all cut down to the same size. I'm using the same arrows as last year with the bow set up really close to the same. So they it shot these uh, arrows that I already had built great. So I'm just going to run that same system. I'm going to uh, throw one fletching on there and try to get the do the feather to the nose thing like Kevin talked about a few weeks back and I'm just gonna try that out. Time to go on a hike, so threw on my clothes and grabbed a bottle of Ignite and uh, then I just go on a little hike. Right. This will be the first trip for the blacked out mavens, these B2s got back and so it'll be good to take a hike with those on, get to look through them again. And that's about it, so it's 4.37, got a little bit of time, just gonna go have some fun. Well, I've just been walking uh, state game lands border just to kind of get an idea of the territory just kind of out on a hike today not really doing anything in particular but I try to at least get time in the woods once a week I mean it's better than none right Bumped those deer out of this bottom uh, down here below me, and I know of a trail that I'm pretty sure the deer trail that they were on. Because uh, when I hunted back in here a couple days, I'm um, in a few years back, um, I know that trail. Uh, there were a couple scrapes on it, and so. So at least a good sign. This is kind of a cool little area. Um, not a lot of deer sign, but I'm not really paying too much attention. I'm more just like hiking to hike because you need one of those every once in a while.
I didn't finish these up last night. Um, hung out with Juliet and Lisa. So, I woke up a little early this morning. It's Wednesday. I do need to edit this vlog, but I figured I'd get these arrows fletched. I was thinking of going to three fletch, but I left my four fletch jig um, put together. So, I did one up with two, actually I did two of them with two fletch last night just to shoot them to see what it turned out like, so there to see if what they fly like with two fletch. I'm probably going to add the other two arrows, or the other two uh, feathers, but the, I mean it's, uh, my feathers are almost an inch further forward than they have been, just so that when I reach full draw it's right at my nose, and then as I pull through it hits the tip of my nose, so doing the old Kevin Mayo thing um, but we'll see how it flies with two like I said I'm probably gonna throw the other two on there because it's just weird to me but. Sweet. so this is actually what one of the new new shafts looks like this year this was one from last year But it is 4.30 in the morning, so I'm going to get some fletching done, I'm going to lift, then I'm going to edit this vlog, and by then Juliet should be awake, and we got a fun day planned. Um, next week, Kevin and I are getting together on Tuesday to do uh, a podcast, which is weird because we usually podcast on Thursdays, but we're going to do the uh, Ask Us Anything section of the vlog, so on Instagram we've posted a couple times about... Um, doing a Q&A or ask us whatever we're going to put it out there on YouTube on this vlog but if you've got a question for us it can be anything uh, from hunting to bow setup to arrow configuration whatever if you got a question for us hit us up you can comment on the video send us a private message DM us on Instagram send us a message through Facebook um, whatever works for you We'll try to get to them. Until next week, stay safe and shoot straight.